We're live in Mississauga where an explosion has leveled several businesses tonight. Nearly 12 hours after the blast, emergency crews remain on scene securing the area and trying to figure out what happened. Good evening. Witnesses say it was a terrifying scene, a massive explosion so strong it was able to blow out windows in the surrounding area. Three people were injured in this incident, but they are expected to recover. It is unclear exactly what caused the blast, but in addition to destroying several businesses, it has also left people without a home to go to tonight. Our coverage begins with CTV Scott Lightfoot at the scene here Ontario near Dundas with the latest. Scott. Well, the latest is that the uh, heavy urban search and rescue team from Toronto Fire has actually arrived here on scene. The, police, uh, the fire chief here in Mississauga asked for them late this afternoon. Now, fire officials here in Mississauga believe that everyone made it out of the building safely, but due to the extent of the blast and the damage behind me, they want this team to have another look just to be sure. The north end of this Mississauga Plaza is completely gone after a loud explosion around 7.30 this morning. And it shook the building so hard, I, I ran upstairs to the roof because I wasn't sure if something out of our equipment went, went south. And uh, so right away I could see the flames coming up. And People living across the street not only heard the explosion, but felt it as well. The force of that blast blowing out windows on both sides of Huron, Ontario. We thought it was like an earthquake because we felt the whole building shake even though it was across the street. We saw this building ah! collapse. It was so scary. The building contains a number of businesses in the front and several residences in the back. When firefighters arrived, they found a man, woman, and child on the roof of the portion of the building that was still standing. Three people were rescued from the roof area that were inside the building at the time of the explosion. Two other people escaped on their own and were treated on scene. The three that were uh, rescued were transported to the hospital. The update that I have on them is that they're all in good condition. Firefighters battled rain and freezing rain throughout the day as that fire continued to burn. They say a live natural gas line was the biggest issue in putting the fire out, but they say it's too soon to know whether that gas may have caused the explosion. Though fortunate no one was seriously injured, it did make for a difficult day for dozens of nearby residents who were not allowed to return to their homes. But first responders tried to bring some normalcy to what is a special day for Viviana Cortez holding an improvised eighth birthday party, complete with cupcakes and balloons in the back of a waiting ambulance. We had her birthday party planned today and we got trapped. We couldn't get our car out, so her birthday party got cancelled. So this is really amazing for these guys to do this for us. This is awesome. Totally turned our day around, so we're really grateful. Now, over my shoulder, you can see they're actually digging up here, Ontario here. That's how they're getting to the gas line that they have to shut off. Fire officials say the gas meter inside the building was destroyed during the explosion. Officials from the Ontario Fire Marshal's office also here on scene. They are the ones who will try and determine just exactly why this explosion and fire occurred. But we're told due to the damage and due to the fact that the building is still hot, there is still flammage in there, they may not be able to get in until tomorrow. In the meantime, roads in this area expected to be closed throughout the evening. And because of that, classes at T.L. Kennedy Secondary School nearby have already been canceled tomorrow. Morning Live in Mississauga, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Colin, back to you.